Day two in Thailand. We're headed out of La Nguo. No idea how to say the Thai names. Whoa. Had a nice stay at a hotel up underneath that mountain. It's about nine bucks a night. We've had a really nice shoulder pretty much the whole time in Thailand so far. It's a bit of a contrast from Malaysia where we were often just maybe intermittent shoulders or just stuck in traffic. Ice cream pit stop at Shovel 11. This is our second night in Thailand and the place we're staying tonight is about $14 and it's kind of a standalone house with like a nice big room, plenty of room for our bikes and the bathroom is pretty, pretty cool. It's open air bathroom, first time having that. We made it to Koh Mook. We got about a 1.4 mile ride to our hotel. Jenny's paneer is really squeaky. We hiked up a very steep hill to this viewpoint. It wasn't a long hike at all, but we're having some passion fruit beers to celebrate anyway. It looks a lot flatter than it really is on video. Plus it's a little muddy and the leaves are slippery. We left Komuk this morning after two nice quiet days off the bike. I uh, did some ocean kayaking and just hanging out on the beach. We're now headed up towards Krabi. We're trying to come up with our route through Thailand. We've got 65 days or so. We're on a bit of a deadline to get to South Korea about 100 days from now. So we're just kind of trying to figure out the logistics of mapping our way through Thailand, Laos and into Vietnam where we're going to fly out of. Yeah, still not exactly sure where we're gonna go every day.
trying some new fruit today. This is called salaka. It comes from a species of palm tree and they're very spiky and kind of hard to peel, but very delicious. We're in the Krabi district now and we were unsure about whether we should head here initially because it's a little bit more touristy than we like to usually shoot for. Some of the most famous beaches in Thailand are here so we were worried that there would just be too much traffic on the roads and all the stuff would be more expensive but we're glad we came. Uh, the riding hasn't been very trafficy other than like the main area around Krabi town and We've gotten to ride through all these really cool, spectacular uh, rock formations. And we found nice, quiet back roads. So definitely glad we stuck to the west side of Thailand for the time being. As soon as we get into kind of a more rural area, we start to get a constant stream of hellos. A lot of times you really won't see where it came from and somebody will just, will just be uh, yelling hello from like in their house or something. So it's kind of this like head on a swivel, which direction am I waving and saying hello back? It's pretty fun though. Everybody's very welcoming. I just wanted to watch us. He came running up, looked like he was gonna chase, but in the end, he was just a watcher. riding through Krabi province for the past couple days and there's lots of really cool geology and these big limestone karst rock formations. It's been really pretty, lots of nice back roads, lots of dogs also, but mostly nice. Bad doggies. <laughs> the big disadvantage to these side roads is the dogs are a lot more aggressive, a lot more territorial. They don't seem to really want to bite us though, they just bark and kind of growl. We've passed a ton of these rubber plantations. This is the first time I've kind of stopped to look at one up close. It's pretty interesting. Drips out of the tree here. I don't know how it gets processed into rubber, but it's white goop. about 46 miles with quite a bit of climbing 
finally the sun's kind of gone down a bit and we've cooled off. It's a very hot day of riding. Only about six and a half miles left to the hotel and then we're gonna try and find some dinner. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere so hopefully there's a, some sort of restaurant around. One of the cool things about bike touring is you come across stuff you didn't even know existed. We're in the town of Chaya and we just found some Srivijaya Buddhist era temples, about 1200 years old. There's not much left, but there's some cool carvings still. Just right in the middle of a town square here. We've made our way over to the Gulf of Thailand side of the Malay Peninsula. We're still slowly making our way up towards Chiang Mai. Thailand has definitely presented some new challenges. For the first time on this entire trip, we're really running into language barriers. The script is not in Latin characters and a lot of people speak zero English. So we're having to navigate by pointing and uh, just kind of gesturing at what we want or need. Luckily it's worked out pretty well and the few times where we've needed to co communicate something more complex, uh, the Google Translate conversation mode has worked pretty well. It is a bit frustrating not being able to communicate with the locals at all though. We just passed a, a nice older lady on her bicycle and she said a bunch of stuff to us in Thai and we have no idea what she said. She seemed happy to see us, but it's unfortunate that we don't speak any Thai and don't have the time to learn before we're on to the next country where we won't speak that language either. Every day we kind of decide on a rough distance that we want to do. Then we look for a hotel that far away then we'll use the Google Maps driving directions to give us kind of a rough mileage. And after that, we'll take the GPS coordinates of the hotel and put them into our better navigation app, which is Osmand, which uses open street maps. And from there, we'll try to find a back roads route and we'll compare the mileage to the Google Maps driving directions, which puts us on kind of highways. And we'll kind of come up with a balance between the two where we're on highways as little as possible, but we're not adding a ridiculous amount of miles trying to find back roads. And that's kind of how we plan our route every day. We've had a long hot day of bicycle riding, but we're about at the hotel we're gonna stay at. There's a neat uh, monastery pagoda thing over here. All of the monasteries seem to be guarded by very vicious dogs, so they're a little bit difficult to approach, but very cool to look at from afar. <laughs> 